everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm back doing something completely different for me um but you all said that you enjoy my book content and to for me to film what i want to do on regards of book content i watch a lot of booktubers and there was this tag going around and i just really wanted to get involved so it is called the um, what is it called? Hang on, I wrote it down in my little notepad because I like to make lists. How well do I know my bookshelf challenge? Basically, what you do is that there are loads of questions. I actually had to cut out a couple. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, but you have loads of questions and most of the time people take to Twitter. I took to Instagram and asked for coordinates that correspond to my shelf. So we've got one through eight for the shelves and then we've got 1 through 25 because that's the average of how many books I've got on each shelf so it'll be for example 2 and 22 and then I will answer the question that corresponds to that coordinate if that makes sense. Like I said I had to cut out a couple of the questions just because it's an American tag and the books in American in America tend to be hardback and I don't have well I do have a couple but I thought I would just skip those ones out because it's pointless. But I've still got quite a good amount of um, questions. I've got my coordinates already written down. Like I said, I took to Instagram last night. So the first one is, without looking at the description, what is the book about? And my coordinate is two and eight. So let's go. Number two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. This is one that I've actually read. I'm a little bit worried about doing this because I haven't read half of the books that are on my shelf and my bookshelf is my TBR as well. But I have read this one. This is The Last Piece of My Heart by Paige Toon. This is about a girl called Bridget who is a writer and she has to ghost write a book or finish a series of books because the author, I want to say her name was Nicole, Nikki, she died. She left her husband, Charlie, and their daughter, April. They were living in Cornwall, and she, uh, the main girl, Bridget, she goes there to sort of find out about the book and the setting and things like that, and then... It goes from there she potentially falls in love and all of that I've actually done a book talk so if you want to go and look at that that'll be in my books playlist am I right is it yeah Nicole Charlie I'm right yay point to me without looking what is the genre of this book 418 one two three four one two three four five six seven eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, another one that I've read yay <coughs> So the one that I have grabbed is Kathy Bramley, The Plumberry School of Comfort Food. This is a chiclet, so like a romance, novel, fiction, that is the genre. And I didn't like this book, I thought it was crap, I think I rate, rated it two stars. This is going to be quite difficult, and that is without looking, what is on the cover? 722. Okay, I'm not looking. I can't look. I'm going to put it here. Can you see that? I'm not looking. Okay. Um, what is on the cover? So it's the second one. It's a girl. <laughs> it's like a Chinese girl on a bed or reading a book in a bedroom. It's very like minimal, really nice, like chic. Oh, I'm going to go that she is in a bedroom reading a book. Fuck it! She's not reading a book. She is in a bedroom though. And she is Chinese-ish. I don't know if I can give myself the point for that. Probably not. Oh, that's so annoying. Without looking, what is the main character's name? 523. Oh god. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh, I don't know. I have no clue. I haven't read this. I have no clue. Jill Mansell, this could change everything. Oh, mm, 
Jill Mansell. Uh, I'm gonna go with. I want to go with like Rosie or Sam, Samantha. I'm going with Rosie because that was the first one that popped into my head. What is it? Essie. Yeah. Sort of close. Fuck's sake. Haven't read that. Damn it. This one's going to be hard. Without looking, name a side character. And that is 3 6. Oh, that's a Carol shelf. I should be good with this. Depending on if I've read it or not. Three, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, is that right? No, that can't be right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yay! Okay, don't look. Oh, I feel under pressure. Calling Mrs. Christmas by Carol Matthews. Love this. Did I do a book review? I don't think I did, but I wish I did. Really, really recommend this if you want a Christmas read. Loved it. Side character. Oh. Oh my god, what's the husband called? I want to go with like Tim and the other love interest is Carter. What's his name, Carter? Oh god, I read it so long ago, but I loved this book. I'm going with Tim and Carter. Yes, I'm right. Carter is the love interest. Who's her husband? Is her husband Tim? Jim! Fuck's sake, I was so close. But I got it right anyway, Carter. Yeah, read this book if you haven't. It's really, really good. Love that. And well, I'm really enjoying this. Without looking, how many pages does this book have? 310. So back to the carol shelf. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, I'm normally quite good at this. Watching the tags, I've got it right. Like, whenever I see someone's book, I normally guess it quite well, but I'm worried that I'm going to get this wrong. This one is Carol Matthews Christmas Cakes and Mistletoe Nights. I have read this one as well. This is book two. Um, the first one is The Cake Shop in the Garden. Yeah. What am I going with? Three hundred. I want to go like seventy-nine, but I, I'm not. I'm going to go three six five. That's my guess. Uh, I wasn't that. I wasn't that far out. Three, eight, nine. You could go twenty-five above or below. So I get that. Yay! I'm good at this game. I thoroughly enjoy this game, and I also thoroughly enjoyed the book. So I read that as well. God, back to the carol shelf again. What rating did you give this book? Three seventeen. Oh, that's awkward. I haven't read this one which is The Difference A Day Makes. Haven't read it, so I don't have a rating, I'm afraid. But the one further along, Million Love Songs, which is two more along, I gave it five stars. Without looking, where does this book take place? 818. Right down at the bottom. Okay. Another one that I haven't read, Jane Green, Second Chance. Some of her books take place in the UK like London and other times they take place in the States. I'm going to say this takes place in the States. I'm not going to be specific because I don't know. I want to say like New York or like Pennsylvania or somewhere like that. But as a broad spectrum, I'm going to say the States. Why don't you tell me? It doesn't tell me. Well, that's not good. I can't bother to read this. Where do you take place? It's saying New York in here, but it's also saying London. So I'm just going to give myself the point because I don't know and I can't be bothered to Google it. Oh, it's taking place in both sides. So I was right point to me is without looking what are the parents names now this is tricky 215 oh i haven't read it I haven't read it i'm i've no idea summer with my sister by lucy diamond i'm just gonna go with mum and dad i'm not gonna say that they have names haven't got a clue 
they probably do have names i won't give myself the point for this because i have no clue i think it's harder a lot of these questions are like young adult and like like fantasy and things related whereas with chiclet you don't tend to see like parental guidance and things but yeah no clue without looking do the chapters have titles or are they just numbered number six and ten one two three. and this one that i've read which is our song by danny atkins i didn't actually read the physical copy of this book because i read it on my kindle um i'm gonna say that they are just numbered however it is done in different pov so i don't know if it'll be like uh, i don't know if it's gonna be like a chapter and then it might have like the name so like ali which is one of the main characters in here it might have like her name underneath that but i'm gonna say that it's just gonna be like numbered so i'll say like chapter one what does that mean does that mean actual numbers or does that mean like chapter one written in words or does it mean like christmas time i'm going with that it's just numbers whether it's written or in numbers that's what i'm going with are there chapters in this book oh here we go yeah it's written and i was right look so it says chapter two and then it says like the pov and then within that chapter it goes see here and then says charlotte's pov so i was right i get a point for that looking does the book have an award on it 118 so we're going right up to the top haven't read i think i've literally read like four books on this shelf one two three four five six seven eight nine ten no it doesn't i can tell you that now it doesn't have an award Ugh. Ugh. okay i'm not looking this is the book i can tell you now that it doesn't have an award it might have like a recommendation from like the daily mail or like an author but it doesn't have an award because it's just a generic chiclet am i right oh no it doesn't even have that oh yes it does the sunday times bestseller that to me is not an award i don't think i'm not classifying that as an award award is like something else but yeah that is jenny colgan the endless beach and i have not read it shock oh god i hope i don't have any more coordinates with number one because no i don't that was the only one that is a difficult shelf without looking does it have any author blurbs on the front 418 so that means like I wept whilst I read this book, Giovanna Fletcher. So it's like a recommendation from an author. That's how I perceive the question. Number 418. Is that 418? No, sorry, 48. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, I'm not looking. It's a Millie Johnson. This is it. Can you see? I haven't read this one, but it's one that I really want to read. And I'm going to say that, yes, there is something written by like Cara Matthews or Heidi Swain or Sophie Kinsella or Jane Green, Carol. I think that there is something written on the front. Fuck it. It's on the back by Katie Ford. There. It says warm, optimistic and romantic. I thought that would be on the front. Oh, that's so annoying. 11 does this book have a description on the back back to the page shelf 11 10 11 so i think that basically means is there a blurb and i can tell you yes yeah all uk paperbacks have blurbs um i think again that question is predominantly based for americans because like i said they're hardback and what happens is that it tends to have like the blurb and description on the first inside slip here so i'm right so this one was page two in one perfect christmas and other stories so this isn't actually um like a, a book it's one that you should get and then read chapters once you've finished her other publications because 
they're like extra seams can you see that so i actually haven't read that yet Does this book have an author photo 325 so back to the carol shelf one two three four five. okay last one carol matthews it's now or never one that i haven't read i'm gonna say that there is an author photo in here because some of her other books has or have got her photo in there and it's not a very good photo of her i'm gonna say that there is one am i right yes i am it's right at the back there you go but this sometimes it's in color and this dress is pink and it doesn't look great but yeah i'm right Woohoo! well this is a good one is this author using a pen name eight four I don't believe she is. Stephanie Perkins, Isla and the Happily Ever After. This is her name, I think. Where's my phone? I'm gonna have to go Google it. Yes, I'm right. That is her name, woohoo. I haven't actually read this one. I first read the first one, uh, Anna and the French Kiss. I'm about, I think I'm about to read this one. I'm not too sure. I haven't decided yet on my TBR, but that is book three. Next question's a tricky one. What POV is it written in, first or third? And my coordinates are, Five and three. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Another Jill. It's been so long since I read a Jill. This is head over heels. First is like, I get really confused with these anyway. It isn't first when it's like yourself. I was so tired so I had to lie down. Whereas third is Jess was so tired she went to bed. I believe that's what it is. And I think regardless of if whether i've got it mixed up or not i get so confused i think this is written where they talk about the person not i so i'm guessing it's third so it'll be like the main person in this is oh my god the main person in this is called jesse that's so weird i'm gonna say jesse has a son jesse does this that's my guess i can't decide cider or a glass of shab Chablis? It's like wine. Jessie Roscoe leaned her elbows on the bar and chewed one arm of her paint splattered sunglasses while she gave the matter some thought. I'm right. Woohoo! Without looking, are there any pictures or graphics in the book? 412. Millie Johnson, A Summer Fling. I haven't read this. I read the one before it. Um... There might be like some pictures of flowers and stuff like round the titles like the chapters that they definitely are in carol matthews but i don't know if there are in this i'm going to say no there aren't any graphics or pictures in this book there might be a photo of her i couldn't tell you but i'm gonna go with no hang on how am i going to show you I'm right. God, that was close. Yay! Yeah, no, there's none. This is a really fun challenge. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. Does it have an epilogue? 7 11. Good question. 7. Cassandra Clare. Oh, let's have a look. One, two. One that I haven't read. This is The Dark Artifices. This is book two. Can't. I swear Heavenly Fire had an epilogue. Epilogue is at the back of the book. This is book two. Would there be an epilogue at the back of the book? Oh, it's so hard because some of them they just end and then others are like wrapped up nicely. Oh, I'm going to say, do I say yes or no? Oh look, that's London Bridge on there. Oh, does this take place in London? That will be interesting. I don't want to read the back because of spoilers. I'm going to say, what am I going to say? No. There is no epilogue. I don't, All right, what's that? Acknowledgements. 
I don't want to read because of spoilers. Are you a chapter? God, I forgot how long her chapters are. <gasps> I'm right. Like, it's just number 29. Yeah, and then it goes to acknowledgements. Cool, that was a good guess, that was. Looking, does it have a prologue? 216. Back to the page 2 shelf. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Over you. Have I read this? Did I read this? No, I started to. Which one have I read? Oh, the one after that. Um, does it have a prologue? I'm going to say no, because it's a standalone. What are you going to need to have a prologue for? Having said that though, the page tune one, five years from now, did. I'm going to say no, this doesn't have a prologue. That's one, I'm right. Yay! This is acknowledgements, and that's the first one. Looking, do the page numbers have a design or not? That's a tricky one because I never really pay attention to that. 514. So back to the Jill shelf one. Jill Mansell thinking of you. I'm gonna say no. There's no design around, on, in front of, behind the page numbers. There we go. I feel like you need to give an example of what a book that does, just so you can see. Uh this page. No. Um, this, this will. <clears throat> See, this is what it was asking. This one does. See? And my one didn't. Can you see that? There we go. Okay. Got a couple more. Do the chapter headers have designs? 620. I've read this. <clears throat> I Heart Paris by Lindsay Kelk. Didn't like this at all. I think I rated it like two and a half stars. Um, no, I don't think they have designs. I'm right. God, I'm good at this game. Are the acknowledgements at the front or the back of the book? Now, I would have initially said, without getting books, that they were always in the back, but since I've been doing this challenge, Quite a lot of my authors have them in the front, so I'm in a bit of a sticky situ right now. 817, Ice Swap by Jane Green. Now, I had the one out before this, or after this, and I can't remember. What was the question for the other one? Where does the book take place? I'm going to guess that the acknowledgements are in the front. That's my guess. God, I am so good at this game. Right. What year was the book published? This is hard. 422. Probably haven't even read it. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, She's got quite a lot of books out. Going to say this came out in 2000 and 2014. That's quite a long time ago now. Yeah, 2014. Two thousand and fifteen. First published two thousand and fifteen. Oh, that's so annoying. I so almost went with that. I underestimated myself. This one is what year did you read this book? And it's seven twenty three. Let's hope I've read it. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I have. It's the last book on the shelf. Always and forever, Lara Jean, Jenny Han. Last book in the. To all the boys have loved before series. I read this when it came out. 2017. I read it as soon as I got it for my birthday. So I read it June 2017. Is that when it was 
released yeah 2017 i loved that challenge i thought that was thoroughly enjoyable i really hope you enjoyed watching me answer questions about my books if you did leave me a comment below and let me know because i'd love to do more challenges like this this is what i'm all about and i'm so happy that i took the risk and started doing my book content because it just fills my heart with joy and it's my, one of my biggest passions and even though I don't get the views I do it because I love it and I'm so happy like this has just filled me with so much joy so I really hope you enjoyed it if there are any other book challenges that you'd like me to do leave them down below and I'll try and get to them at some point in the future I'm gonna go I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in my next video